Hey everyone, this is Josh Galvin with Tizzish.com. On this video tutorial, I'm going to explain to you the concept of the Google Dance and uh, what this means. So basically, have you ever been checking your search engine rankings and noticed that you bounce from page 2 to page 1 to page 3 to page 4, maybe back to page 2 and then back to the bottom of page 1 and basically you're bouncing and dancing all over the place. Well, if you notice that, here's what I need you to understand about that. When that's happening, that's a, that's a good sign. Meaning, if you're having the Google dance happen to you and you're going from position one, you know, to position, you know, or page one to page three to page two and you're just kind of going all over the place, not settling, that's a good thing because what you got to look at that as is basically Google has thrown, is like you're thrown up in the air, you picture your dust and you're thrown up into the air and you're just looking for a place to settle. So the whole point is, when you're in the Google Dance, like one of our existing members here for the keywords Walnut Creek Real Estate, they um, Craig Craig was in the in the Google Dance for for a good two to three weeks when he was going to the bottom of page one, and then he would go back to page three, page two, etc. And now he's consistently on the bottom of page one. And what was happening was he was doing all his blogging and everything. And when he would get noticed onto page one. Basically, that was a hint from Google saying that whatever you're doing is working and we're, we're tracking and we're viewing it as being worthy of being on page one for your given keyword. However, it needed to be done more and more consistently. So the whole point is when you see your rankings jumping all over the place, just understand that the higher the, the highest that it goes means that Google is seeing something on your website that is determining can keep you in that position. However, it's not seeing it consistently and on top of that, your other items like maybe you're doing content a lot and it's getting you it's getting you a rankings boost but then you end up falling backwards again in the pages. Well, that means that you did your content which is good but as Google goes through the rest of your site, it's noticing that you don't have many links pointing to your site so it ends up putting you back. So the whole point is when you're doing the Google dance, here's what you need to do. Look at what you're doing. Evaluate your actions. Are you doing a lot of blog postings? Where you're doing link building that's causing you causing you to do the dance sporadically and whatever you discover in yourself that you're doing like let's say if you're like i've been doing one blog posting a day and then it's making me do the google dance well basically then what you need to do is start doing some link building items with it as well so that way you get both of them and when you get both of those items now that's going to help you stop doing the google dance and it'll help you start moving forward more because what happens is google sees your sees your efforts and it wants to give you credit for for being high on the search engine rankings based off of what it immediately sees but after it sees the rest of your website profile it'll put you back to where it, where, it dis, where it determines you need to be and usually it's behind so the google dance is a good little sign to tell you what you need to be doing more of in terms of seo so this and then the way you determine what you need to be doing more of is look at what you're doing if you're spending a lot of time doing content start doing some link building to make it balanced and vice versa so hopefully that makes sense and um, in a nutshell, look at the Google Dance like a like if it's working out. Picture if you're going to to the gym to to uh, to lose weight or to gain muscle, either one. And for if you go to the gym to try to start gaining muscle, and you just started, well, you're gonna feel like you're gaining muscle immediately after working out for one or two days because you're gonna be sore everywhere and you're gonna feel holy cow, um, I feel like a lot bigger. Well, in reality, you are a lot. You are bigger, but in reality, you're not really there because you just started. That's not possible. But your body's trying to tell you that, hey, you can get to this size. But what do you have to do? You have to keep doing what you're doing consistently. The same thing with Google. All right, and same when you start moving up and everything, and you see yourself in a high position, know that that's a sign that you're doing something right. You just have to do more of it and consistently. All right. So uh, basically, don't let the Google Dents make you afraid and make you feel that you're wasting your time. It's actually a signal that you're doing something right, all right? So that's everything. If you have any questions, go to facebook.com forward slash tizish, the way you see tizish spelled here at the top. And basically, you're all set and ask us any questions there. Good luck and take care.